Hello, hello, hello. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever in the world it is that you are watching from. Welcome to Love What You Do with me, Sarah Grinnell. So, how do I build a network marketing business without losing my friends and annoying my family? Okay, yes, we've all been there, we've all been there. This question, how do I build a network marketing business without losing my friends and family? Uh, losing my friends and annoying my family. It's a question I get asked over and over again, and it's what we're going to discuss tonight. So let me know where you are coming in from so I can say hello um, and welcome. Um, for those that are new or have never met me before, I'm Sarah, and I help new or struggling network marketers build online using strategies to attract people to you okay i was once a struggling network marketer and i'm now just those few steps ahead of you to teach you what i am being taught um, as i know exactly where you're coming from how you feel the pains and the problems you are facing as i have been there too so i can i can help you out with those all right so give me a one in the comments if you have ever been fearful or you have experienced losing friends or being avoided by your family because of your network marketing business. I know I have, I have, right? My friends and family have ghosted me when I've tried messaging them. Um, I know they've answered, but they've never got back to me. I've not been invited to um, things in fear that I'm gonna start yak, 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 and spewing my business. Uh, all over them okay it happens it happens to all of us and the majority of the time it's because either they don't understand multi-level uh, marketing and just presume it's one of those pyramid sch schemes those pyramid thingies because that is what they have been led to believe or it's because we are going about it all the wrong way okay spamming for example um but here's the thing, when you start something new, there's so much excitement. You're excited and you want the whole world to know, okay? But there's a fine line between this excitement and spamming. And people are being taught the wrong way, okay? Plus, there's a lot of scepticism, and I mean a lot of scepticism. And you know the stuff. I'll believe it when I see it. I'll believe it when you make it big and then I might join you. Or another new thing, that so-and-so, they're always um, got the, the hands in the pies and they're always looking uh, at the next new fad, etc, uh, etc. Et and unfortunately, network marketing has been given a bad rep over the last few decades. It really has. Drop me a two if, if you believe this too. Um, and the bad bad rep, there are some grounds for it, as I've just, just discussed, the spamming kind of uh, bad rep um, and the pyramid thingy kind of bad rep, um, which I get, I do get it, but a lot of it stems from people's insecurities and venturing into this profession but not treating it like a profession, okay? And then they're saying, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Hi, Alison. Thank you for watching. It doesn't work. And I hear it all the time. It's a scam. It's a pyramid thing. It's not going to work. And we all have um, that someone in our family or the extended family or a friend or a, a, a somebody's relative that have gone into network marketing and it didn't work. They tried it for 30 days, they tried it for 60 days, they tried it for 90 days, whatever it was, and they tried to prospect all their friends and family and everyone they knew, and it didn't work. So guess what? It's what it's a scam. It's one of those pyramid things. They don't work, being there, done that, all right? Let me know if this resonates with you, because we all get it. We all get this from our friends and family, all right? And a lot of the time, we approach network marketing this profession we all come to it with lots of wants and desires 
and some people's wants and desires are prejudged on um, the people that are trying to recruit them. Uh, they've seen, uh, they've done this, they've done that, and they've done the other, and they want that too. All right. But your your family and your friends don't always see your dreams and your desires. Okay, it's not what they want. Sorry, my dog's barking in the background. If you can hear that. Um, and they don't fully understand where it is that we're coming from. And let's face it, your friends and family see you as one thing, okay? They will and always have seen you as that one thing. And for me, it's been an ermine in the, in the RAF, all right? I'm a teacher now and a network marketing professional, and I still get referred to as Sarah, who was in the Air Force. I've been out of the Air Force... Uh, 14 years and I still get referred to as Sarah in the Air Force and they think I'm crazy for wanting to pursue my network marketing profession it's not a real job you have a real job you have security why do you want to leave it you've got a good paid job why do you want to venture into something that they don't believe pays well and is very unsecure and it scares them all right and that is where they're coming from they're coming from a place of fear a lack of understanding and possibly they don't see you as anything else other than your previous profession all right um and when it comes to family and friends and i want to be honest with you uh more so friends than, than family they don't want to be left behind you've probably been their friends for years and years and years um personally I have great friends who have been very supportive, but yet they won't join me. Um, I have one friend who just says, remember remember me when you're a millionaire, all right? And we laugh at it, um, but she's my best mate and she's very, very supportive of everything I do. But maybe they want to see uh, me make it before they put the tour in, all right? Who, who knows? That's, that's where they, I'll see it when I believe it. Uh, comes into it but there are many people who have friends who can become unnerved with what you're doing they can become scared that you will surpass them you'll outgrow them um, and they don't understand that you're why you're doing these self-help you're going to seminars for growth mindset and self-development etc etc they think it's weird and they can't handle it all right and they really, really may not understand why you're doing it. They may not support you doing it because suddenly you may do better than they're doing. Maybe you'll make more money than they will. Maybe you're thinking a little bit different. Maybe you want to ditch them. These are all things that are going on in the back of their head. But that is their problem, not yours. Okay. And this comes from, and I did this quite a few weeks ago, um... You are the sum of the five people uh, that you hang out with the most. Have you, have you heard that saying? All right. And far too often, our social circle keeps us stuck and we do not grow. Um, and there's a great metaphor. It's, it's to do with a shark. Have you, have you, have you seen, seen this metaphor? I think it's doing its rounds on, on Facebook. Um, a shark in a fish tank will grow to eight inches. But put it in the ocean and it will grow to over eight feet and more. Why? Because a shark will never outgrow its environment and the same can be said about you. And many times we're surrounded by small, peeping, small thinking people so we don't grow. All right. So you need to change your environment, you need to change your social circle and you need to watch your growth expand let me know if you if you get in this okay so this is what i tell the people when they ask me um about friends and family and how you can grow without asking uh, without bugging your um your family and losing your friends okay um you this is why you don't bother with your fans and fans of uh, fans friends and family okay you find a community of like-minded people who are entrepreneurs, the go-getters, they're hungry, 
hungry for success and they want what you want, okay? People who are going to treat you as a network marketing professional, okay? So do you see where I'm coming from? Your friends and your family, and you can add random strangers to this list, are not like you, all right? They are not coming from the same mindset. They are not entrepreneurs. They do not want what you want, okay? So, that's it for tonight. If you have gotten any value from this, then please let me know and spread the love with anyone that you think this training will benefit. If you would like to know uh, more about how I'm learning, and please, please comment below because I would, I would love to have a chat with you. So thank you very much for watching and um, have a lovely morning, day, evening, wherever it is you are watching from and I'll catch you again soon. Bye.